So what we're looking at is how do we manage to stabilize this, this phenomenon that's going on? And I think the key point is those saying we have to overturn capitalism in order to do it, my main concern is I, I don't know if we've got time to overturn capitalism first and solve climate change later. I'd rather enlist some of the forces we've got available to us today to solve the problem I, now. I think you and Sarah are going to have a lot to talk about offset because we have run out of time, but no, there you go. I'm waited. sorry. We've Thank waited you very for much. 30 years Thank for capitalism to work and it hasn't worked. And Emma, you go when you go home, you will look at your children and you think I've got a 50-50 chance of it staying within a world that we know as it is today. Okay. And the people looking at Thank home. Thank you very much. You this is not as well. this is this is where we have to leave it. Thank you very much for your time. Now, if we get to four degrees, which is where we're heading at the moment, four degrees of warming, they cannot see how the Earth can support no, no, but not yeah. one billion people, half a billion people. That's six and a half billion people dying. Sorry, so you're going to stand by scientifically a projection that says within this century we'll have the slaughter, death and starvation of six billion people. It's just good for us to know. No, because... Uh, what we can do as scientists is tell you about the risks we face. Um, the risks, the, the easy risks to predict, to be honest, are the ones that I do, how the climate system responds to rising greenhouse gases. The harder risks to predict are how people are going to respond yes. to losing the weather they knew as, as their kids. But, 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 as, and, but I suppose and the reason I ask... And so I imagine what they're talking about there is the risks of the human response to climate change as much as the risk of climate change itself. But, when but, people but, ask I, me, but I suppose the point is, if there's no science that says that, do you understand why some people who are sympathetic to your cause also feel like you have fear-mongered? So, For instance, Roger Hallam has also said, our kids will be dead in 10 to 15 years. So, Emma, I don't know if you heard what Miles said there. He said, we are losing the weather we know. All of our agriculture and our food is based on weather that has been around for the last 10,000 years. If we don't have predictable weather, we don't have predictable food sources. We run the risk of multiple losses of harvest in the world's global bread basket. It's just to the extent That's that no you are food. it's just to the extent that you are projecting what you don't know onto the reaction of humans and that can be counted as fear-mongering. Roger Hallam did say our kids, we just double-checked this before we came on, would be dead within 10 to 15 years. There's a distinct possibility that we lose not only our food supplies, but our energy supplies. In California at let's the moment, let, let's, millions Miles of people do not have electricity. Let's hear from electricity. a scientist as well. There's, there's a lot of possibilities in the future, and I think what was frustrating about this process is if we fixate on things we don't know, we're not even focusing on the things we do know which is there are perfectly achievable solutions to this problem. I was, in a, I was in a fossil fuel company last week talking to them about 1.5 degrees, and I was asked the question, is there really any way of us solving the, you know, of us getting to net zero emissions by 2050? And I asked them, well, if you had to make the product you sell carbon neutral by 2050, would you be able to do so? And they just looked at each other and said, yes, of course we would. So is that, so is that the something... the solutions are out there. That, but that's really interesting. Is that going to be one of your focuses? Because what we were just hearing in the film there is that there has been some of the people that you work alongside, you protest alongside, have talked about overthrowing capitalism. And yet here a solution might be working with some of the architects of it, the oil companies. So um, Miles is talking about how we could move to net zero by 2050. Moving to net zero by 2050 gives us a 50-50 chance of staying at 1.5 degrees or below. That's not a risk that I want to take. So 1.5 degrees, we might stay within a stable climate. If we go over that, all bets are off, really. We don't know how hot it's going to get. I Miles. do not want to take a 50-50 chance on the future of everybody that I cherish. Well, Sarah, yeah, Sarah's just dumped all over that yeah, quickly. Let me, let me come back to the 1.5 report. Um, the risks go up with every half a degree of warming. Nobody's going to say, you know, oh, yes, we'll settle for an extra half a degree and it won't matter. Um, at no point did we say that if we cross one and a half degrees, um, we will, the, the warming will immediately accelerate out of control. So what we're looking at is how do we manage to stabilize this, this phenomenon that's going on? And I think the key point is those saying we have to overturn capitalism in order to do it, my main concern is I, I don't know if we've got time to overturn capitalism first and solve climate change later. I'd rather enlist some of the forces we've got available to us today 
to solve the problem I, now. I think you and Sarah are going to have a lot to talk about offset because we have run out of time. But no, there you go. Waited. I'm sorry. We've Thank waited. We've waited for much. 30 years Thank for capitalism to work and it hasn't worked. And Emma, you go when you go home, you will look at your children and you think I've got a 50-50 chance of it staying within a world that we know as it is today. Okay. And the people looking at Thank home. Thank you very much. You this, is not, well. this, is, this is where we have to leave it. Thank you very much for your time.